hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to compress a video or any kind of file for email without losing the quality the compressing videos for email is essential for optimizing file size and a smooth delivery large video file can be tricky to attach and make seed email attachment limit causing issues but by compressing videos it reduces the file size without losing much quality making it quicker to upload and download this ensure compatibility across email client and devices so recipient can view it seamlessly plus compressed videos use less data during transmission perfect for users with limited data or slower internet connection so if you have ever encountered such frustration, you are in the right place. In this video, I will be showing you the best technique to optimize your video file without sacrificing quality. So let's dive in and learn how to make your videos email friendly with Video Pro Converter. That is the best tool, best software that I found to convert the video file size without losing the quality. But before that, I would like to show you that I was trying to compose an email and I have to attach a video. So when I click on the attach file and select the video and click on open. So it says large file must be shared with Google Drive. So I'm using Google email client right now and it's giving me a recommendation that your file exceed more than 25 MB and you should go and upload your video in a Google Drive first and then you can share the link in the email. So that can be a little tricky and it can be a little annoying for the recipient who will be receiving my email. Similarly, if you're using any other email client services like Outlook, Verizon, Yahoo, you may have the same trouble. So let me show you my video that I'm trying to upload. So this is the video that I'm trying to upload. And if I right click, choose properties. So you can see it's around 320 MB. And the maximum size to share any kind of file is 25 MB. So I'm exceeding much limitations. All right. So let me quickly play this video. So this is the file that I want to send. So you can see the quality right now so that I can show you that after compressing it, there won't be any kind of compromise with the quality of the video. All right. I will also make a comparison. So don't worry. Now I will minimize it, minimize everything. And then you have to come to this website. The link will be in the description of video proc. Now, once you come up here, you get two different options, free download. You can check the specification. Then you have the buy now option. So if you want to upgrade and enjoy much more feature, then you can upgrade and go with the paid version. Now, part of this, you get many other options like directly and easily compress any video to your favorite size, compress video in less efficient format like ProRes, and sign form for a storage share 8k 4k 180 pixel videos on social media post dgi gopro dslr iphone high bitrate videos on tiktok so there are many other options that you can check it out all right so once you come up here you have to click on free download the downloading will be now started and it's around 49.3 mb so it won't take much time so let's wait until this has been completed and once downloaded, you have to click on the downloaded file. Then it will ask you to install. So you have to click on install and then click on launch. Now here you will find four different options like recorder. So you can also record anything that you want on your computer screen. So here you have to click on video first. And then the interface will be coming up. Now here in the top menu option, you can find the video option. So where you can click on the plus icon and then directly import the video that you want to compress you can even click on the video folder in order to import all the video folder or else you can also quickly drag and drop the video in the toolbox here so i will do the same i will just select the same video drag and drop over here so once the video has been imported you will find many different options like you can use the effect option the watermark option cut and crop at the bottom you will find the target format section so you can just use it for the mp4 uh, you can use it for the iphone android 4k so these are the different options now here at the very bottom you will find the toolbox option 
So if you are a beginner and looking for the easiest way, then you can click on the toolbox, then click on compress. Now here, click on the option setting gear icon. So now here you can see you get the slider and where it says compress to, you can either take it to the right hand side and it will show you the exact size of the video that is 320 MB and you can reduce it to up to the 90% and it will be coming around to 32 MB. So once you are okay with this size, you can click on done and then you can click on run to import the file. Now the next method is what you will have to do. You need to click on this option icon here again. And now you can see that it has automatically been reduced to around 45.46 MB from 320 MB. But I want to compress it more as to send an email. The size should be below 25 MB. So what you will have to do next. Click on apply to all. Now here in the target format, you need to select this MP4 option. MP4 H264. Select this option. Again, click on the option setting gear icon. And then in the resolution section, it says keep original. So what you can do, you can go with the best size that is 2560 by 1080 or 1920 into 180. So you can go with any of the options and now you can see the estimated size is around 23.98 MB and that is perfect for me. Now it's an estimated size so probably once we will import it, it will be around 21 or 22 MB. Okay, so once I'm okay, I can click on apply to all and then I will click on run. So now it will give you some kind of notification to upgrade the version. So if you want to, you can upgrade it. You get a lot of useful features or else you can click on continue so the process will now be started and even it give you an option shut down computer when the conversion is completed so in case if you are converting any long file and you want to go for a sleep so you can check this option and as soon as the compression will be completed it will automatically shut down the computer so finally the video has been imported and now if you check the size it's around 21 mb and if we look on the size here, it's around 21 MB that you can see that. And now if I play this video, so you can see there is no difference in the quality. It's still clear and there is not any kind of problem with the quality that I see. Even if you will try from your own end, you will find that yes, there is no difference in the quality and you have successfully compressed a video to send through the email without losing any kind of quality. All right, so it's been saved in my video pro converter. So again, if I go back to my email and then if I try to select that video file, you will now see that it's now uploading. OK, and it has been uploaded and now I can send it and the recipient who will receive my email, they can view the video with the less size. And even on my end, I don't have to spend too much of data and even the transmission will be too fast. All right, so this is how you can reduce the video size while sending through the email without losing the quality. So hopefully guys, this video will surely help you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any kind of question, let me know in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.